Welcome back to the homestead everyone. Welcome back to the channel. One of the most difficult things to do is get a fire started in one of these new EPA approved wood stoves. Today we're going to show you how to start that fire the first time every time. Stay with us. So there are a few basic rules to follow to start off making a great fire on the first shot and that is one we're going to leave our door cracked open we're going to draw extra air in through the door we want all of our controls open we want our damper open and we need to leave that door open for proper draw to begin with but once that fire takes hold you can close that off all right number two we need perfectly seasoned wood dry seasoned wood if you're trying to do this with green wood, it's not going to work. It's not good for your stove anyway. So always remember dry seasoned wood. Okay, first things first. We are going to take our biggest logs and we're going to place them here on the bottom. Now, that is completely contradictory to what we all learned growing up in building uh, a campfire, right? Building a teepee or the log cabin style. Older wood stoves, you were able to do that, but not these newer stoves. Part of the reason is, is they have these pipes along the top that are used for uh, air circulation and air intake. <clears throat> and it's, these are set up just a little bit differently than those older stoves. So essentially, we want to build this fire in reverse. Kind of weird, I know, but stay with me on this. So like I said, we're going to take our two biggest logs that we're going to start the fire with and we're going to put them here on the bottom. Now that is also contradictory in the fact that you're starting with large wood. Usually you start with kindling. We're going to add the kindling, but we're also going to have that large wood in there. Now we want it in this V pattern like this because we want air to circulate around the back and around the outside of the fire right here. From here, we are going to start with our paper. So our paper is going to go right here inside of the V. Now we don't have to do too much of that because next we're going to add a layer of cardboard. Now it's no big deal if you don't have the cardboard, but it helps out a lot. We're going to stick a decent amount of this cardboard here at the top. Now we want to leave some air gaps, like with anything. We want to, that air to circulate through there, but we also want to yeah, I'm going to take that off the top. We also want to have enough material to get this thing going. We're going to add some small pieces of kindling on top of that. So this is actually like building uh, one of our old fires here. We can make this little log cabin structure up here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We can add some more cardboard on top of that. Like this. And now we're actually going to put some larger pieces right directly on the top of it. We're going to span that right there and we're going to give that a little breathing room as well. There's some medium sized pieces and right on the top we're going to put another larger piece of wood. Now we have a smaller stove here. And so our wood is cut at one foot uh, sections instead of the normal 16 inches you get when you buy firewood or you process it yourself. We have one foot sections here and that is perfect for this, this little uh, Wood Pro 1500. But we're going to, you see we've got a lot of large wood on the outside here. We've got our kindling here in the middle and let's light this baby up. You're going to see this go first time every time. It's awesome. Now don't be shy, light it in a few different places. If you have to light a, a piece of wood to get it in there, do that. Get it in the back, but it'll catch pretty darn quick, let me tell you. Okay, we're going to get that closed so it creates a nice 
heats that pipe up really quick and creates a nice draft and gets that, that uh, pipe heated up so it pulls it out quickly. That's also why we're leaving this door open a little bit so we can get that draft going and up. You can see how quickly that has started. It's going to take a while to get all that fuel burned up here at the top, but right away we've got our flame high and it's starting to work with the, uh, the inlet tubes on the top of the stove. Now you can see in just a short, short period of time that you've got nice hot coals right in the center of that V. What that's going to help do is catch those larger exterior logs on fire quickly and build our fire, so we can build our fire faster. And also across the top you can see some uh, serious coals getting going, that serious heat coming up on top of those bigger pieces on the top. It's really starting to heat this fire up super fast. Look at this fire, it's roaring and it's only been a few minutes. I was so frustrated when I first got this stove because I just could not get it started. I was sitting here in front of the stove for a half an hour, 45 minutes trying those old methods, those old Boy Scout methods and you know the methods my dad taught me. The methods I used actually in my uncle's old school wood stove just don't work in these new stoves. I was so happy to find this method online from a gentleman in England and I thank you so much. That guy helped me out and we've got a roaring fire the first time every time now and I'm so happy I don't have to sit here forever. We do have to leave the door open for a little while, probably 15 minutes give or take, but that's it. So do it this way, it'll save you a lot of headache. Also, we want you to be here with us on a permanent basis. So go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell, and then after that hit all notifications. Leave us a comment in the comment section below. Go visit us on our website, countrylivingexperience.com. Visit us on all of our social media platforms. You name it, we've got it, except for Twitter. I'm not a big Twitter guy, no big deal. Anyway, thank you, have a great day, and we'll see you next week on the next video.